All right. So let's start with Cora. This one just came in this week. Actually, a phone call to me. Sean, thanks for listening. Sean, thanks for calling. Very disturbing problem. He says his daughter owns a home on the south end of town. She was approached by a solar panel company to put solar panels on the house. It's an inviting idea. The daughter took out a loan, had the panels put on. The panels did not work, but the company who put them on also went out of business. So the daughter is stuck owing money to a finance company, and Sean is helping her make those payments. He wants to know, can he sell the house while all this is going on? Does the finance company get paid at that point? And also, what happens if he stops paying the finance company? Will they come after his daughter's credit? Cora, what are your thoughts? Well, those are both great questions, Sean. So to answer the first one, can you sell the home? Absolutely, you can sell the home. But anytime we have those solar panels on a home that we're trying to sell, we need to kind of understand how that's being transferred. Generally speaking, <clears throat> excuse me, generally speaking, that lease agreement, lease to own probably is the case, the one you're making payments on will be transferred over to the buyer. And then the buyer will assume those payments, make those payments until they eventually own the solar panels that are on the home. Now, of course, the other um, option could be true where you would just buy it out, right? You could just, whatever is owed, um, is the remaining balance on the solar panels can be paid off prior to closing and then the new buyer will reap the benefit and I would hope that the terms of the sale and agreement would reflect that but generally speaking the documents are provided to the buyer they're comfortable with assuming those payments and of course the finance company is contacted to let them know that they're being uh, transferred over to the new buyer and the home is being sold etc and then the buyer would take that into consideration because whatever money they're paying the solar panel company they're also going to pay less, I presume, in the LG&E bills, the power bills. And I think that's one of the big advantages on why somebody would want to do a solar panel. Maybe, because if you heard, the, according to Sean, the panels don't work. They Apparently, they put them in, they don't work. So now you've got panels sitting on top of a house. The company that put them in is out of business. And you're stuck paying, apparently, a finance company that paid the panel company. So this sure. poor so, Sean, yeah, those are catch. Yeah, what it, do you do? It, it is, and that and that's super unfortunate. So clearly, that would have to be then disclosed to the buyer, and the buyer's going to go, "Wait, time out. Why would I want to assume payments on something that actually doesn't work?" So that kind of leads us into the second question that Sean had: is what can I do from here? Do I really yeah. have to continue making payments on something that doesn't work? Mm -hmm. And so I think the short answer is we would need to do a review of the document that you signed, the contractual agreement that you signed, whether it be with that finance company and or the roofing company that went out of business that has the terms in which you are going to be uh, buying those solar panels and making those solar panels. Because I um, would hope that there would be other terms into that agreement as to you know the workman like manner it should be in and, and what happens if it's you know what warranties may uh be available to you in the event they're not working properly and how many years the, they would last and so on and so forth so a cursory review of that document should answer those questions and if you stop making the payments and you have no contractual right to do so then yes that finance company i promise you will go after you in court mm -hmm. and you know you may get a lien a judgment lien lawsuit all the things that nobody wants to have to deal with so i certainly would not encourage that but rather having an attorney review that contractual agreement to see what your options are, to see if someone is in breach. But, you know, just a lesson learned for all the listeners out there is who you work with really matters. And I think that solar panels are so cool and current and trendy right now. And, and there's probably some, some great savings there. But you just want to make sure that you're working with a reputable, qualified company that's providing that and that you understand like in Sean's case, hey, if these stop working a year in, two years in, what happens? What are our recourse? What are the repairs? What are the warranties? If your company's no longer in business, who do I talk to? And so asking those questions up front and choosing the right professionals to work with will hopefully not land you in that situation that Sean is in. Yeah, that's a really good point. And a uh, shameless plug here, go for the reviews. Look up reviews. We made it easy for you for looking up reviews with our Sokolar team. Go to LouisvilleZillow.com or LouisvilleGoogle.com and take a look at our reviews. But really, that's a really important thing to look at the reviews. All right, a reminder, you can see a rebroadcast of this show, actually with video, by going to LouisvilleAnswers.com. That's a redirect to our YouTube channel, LouisvilleAnswers.com.